Hey guys, it's your mind for and I am back for another video and I'm gonna do an, another one of these commentary videos because um this is something like I can like connect with you guys and like tell stories that like m most people can like uh, relate to. So um yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, today's story. This is gonna be a pretty interesting one because it kind of reflects about a year I had in school. So so stick around if you're interested and. In, yeah, so let's get right into it. So, um, this goes back to about, like, first grade. And, um, you know, like, everyone was friends, so, like, I didn't really have a problem with, like, kids in my classroom. But, um, it was mainly the teacher, and I'm not going to use any real names here. I'm not going to use her real name because, you know, that's kind of, like... I don't know, just like uh, giving stuff out, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to like uh, really call anyone out here. So, um, let's just call her um, Mrs. Smith. So, um, so Mrs. Smith uh, was a fr was my first grade teacher, and from what I heard, she was actually a pretty good teacher. So I was actually like excited for this. Oh, but boy, I was wrong. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. So. Um, so, uh, first day of school, you know, nothing really happened. Just a, a normal day, well, because, like, everyone was just, like, talking about their summers and everything and, like, what they did. And, um, you know, it was just mainly just a day of, like, introduction to first grade and, like, uh, what her life is like and what um, the, uh, cl uh, the year is going to be like. So, you know, nothing really out of the ordinary here, just a normal first day. You know, everyone being friends, uh, going outside recessing lunch, and yeah, so it's just basically a normal day. So, um, and then like I'd say like about first week, I realize like she starts like hating me. So I'm I'm gonna tell you why right now. So there was this kid in my class. So let's just call him uh Bob. So Bob, um, it was just like, um, he took my crayon one time. And, like, he, because I was using it, and he took it right out of my hand. He's like, yo, Mason, can I use your crayon? And I'm like, I'm using it right now. I'll give it to you once I'm done. So, he was like, no, I want it now. And, like, I'm not trying to be mean here or anything, but this kid kind of have like, ADHD. So, um, yeah, and, like, you can tell because he, he literally ripped um, the crayon out of my hand. And I got mad. So, me being first grader self... I told the teacher on him. <laughs> now, I know, like, a, no one really does that anymore if you're, like, in, in middle school or high school because that's kind of babyish. So, um, yeah, so, like, a, no one really does that anymore. So, but in first grade, you know, it was okay. So, I told the teacher, and he tried getting, he, he tried making something up by saying that, uh, he's, he's a liar. He actually gave it to me. He's just looking for attention, and he just wants to get me in trouble. So, um, and then she's like, Mason, you, you do not uh, uh, blame people for other stuff that happens. That's just rude, and it's not funny at all. And then, like, I, I, I literally had, like, the most straight face ever. Like, I, I didn't even know what to say. Like, I was not even lying. Like, I can swear on my family's life that I did not steal that, uh, he did, I did not give him that crayon. He literally stole it from me. So... You know, like, nowadays, it, w it wasn't really a big deal. I was just trying to get it back and tell him that I was using it. But, you know, like, it's something that happened to me, like, around this time. Like, now I'm in middle school. It wouldn't really matter to me. Just, like, I get the crayon back from him. So, um, so then, like, in, like, middle school and our middle school, there was, like, a clip chart rule. I'm not sure if you guys had this, but, like, a clip chart like a rule like if you do something bad you move your clip and like at the bottom of the clip is like detention or something or like you lose your recess so like no one ever wanted to get read on the clip chart so like no one ever wanted to it started out as like a warning like you move your clip to a warning and then like eventually it progresses on and you move down to like a couple minutes off of recess 10 minutes off of recess and then there's like a black one where it's like a, a call a call to home just to tell your parents what you're doing, and, um, yeah, so, that, 
it was like a call to home and then like I guess you lost your recess or something or you got detention something like that I, I honestly forget what the clip chart was like but I can tell you it was something like that so um so that's how it worked and I just got a warning that day I didn't I didn't really move my clip down that much so you know it just wasn't really a bad day for me so um so like that's like the first time that like she yelled at me and like you know like it's fine if you get yelled at by a teacher everyone has that happen to them so it doesn't really like matter to be honest but like she did this like to me like every day so uh, and then like this actually just like causes something that uh will be later in the story so um yeah so and then like as as like weeks go by like she literally like yelled at me one time because i asked to go to the lab because you know like i had i really had to go to the lab and like i'm not trying to sound like i don't know i'm just not trying to sound like weird or anything but like it's kind of illegal not to let someone go to the bathroom because like it can actually be an emergency and like I don't know stuff can happen with your body so like I don't know it just doesn't it that's not how it like that's just how it works I don't know but like it's that that's like the law like you should be able to let anyone go even if it's an emergency like in your middle of a lesson you should be able to go because you know your body is kind of more important than the lessons so yeah so I, I had to ask to go to the lab and she and she literally yelled at me and was like, like stared at me for 10 seconds with like this death stare and I mean like the ugliest stare like I like it's probably like the worst stare I ever got and yeah so like I, she gave me the stare for like 10 seconds she's like Mason don't you see we're in the middle of of um of a lesson here and um she literally said that to me and I'm like yeah and she's like so why do you need to use the lab because I really need to go and I haven't gone all day and she's like well that's not my fault you should have gone before you left uh, maybe you start going to the lab more and like me being my first grader self I cried about it because like what kind of teacher says that to someone? You should just be like, no, just wait till we're done with the lesson, then we'll let you go. I mean, I would have been much fine with that, but, like, she literally had to say, I, sh I, I should be a little smarter and use the bathroom. Like, who says that to a first grader? Like, I understand if you say it's, like, a person that's in, like, high school or middle school, but, like, no one says that to an elementary person. So, um, that kind of made me sad a bit, and... And then eventually she let me go as we we're done with the lesson. She let me go, so that was basically it. So as more weeks go by, um, she literally so like um, I think like one day we're uh, we're using crayons and stuff. So like I don't know, we just had crayons that day, so that's like yeah, I guess we're just coloring something and. Um, she, she literally, um, yelled at me because I forgot, I didn't put back my crayon because I didn't hear what she said, so, which is kind of my fault, I should have been paying attention, but I'm not going to get into that right now, so, um, she, uh, she, I forgot to put back my crayon, so she's like, Mason, did you not put, uh, uh, you didn't put back your crayon yet, I told you to go put it back, I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, I just wasn't paying attention, that's my fault. And she's like, yeah, and this is exactly why you're stupid and you're not going to ever uh, go anywhere in life. I did not know what to say to that. I didn't even cry. I was just like so, so shocked that a teacher would ever say that to someone that like I couldn't even cry about that. It was literally like, now most people are not going to believe me about that, but like it did happen. I'm not lying, so... Yeah, it did happen, and, um, worse incidents happen, like, I'm trying to think of other times, like, one time my friend got, uh, punched in the face by this other kid for some reason, I don't know, I forget the exact reason why, but, uh, he got punched in the face, and, like, and, like, the kid told, um, the, uh, other teacher, I mean, told, uh, my teacher, I uh, told Miss Smith about it, and she literally said, oh, he wouldn't do such a thing. And, like, I, 
I saw that myself, and I'm like, what? I, I was just thinking in my head, like, what the heck was going on in her mind? Like, what kind of teacher would say that, oh, he wouldn't do such a thing? Like, at least, like, move his clip or something. I don't know. <laughs> just, like, do something about it. Like, give him a warning, but you don't have to say, oh, he wouldn't do such a thing and, and not give a punishment. Like, that's just, like, saying, like, oh, like, uh, your brother did something, and, like, no one believes you. And then, like, he's like, oh, he wouldn't do such a thing. I mean, like, come on. You gotta be a little more, like... I honestly think that she was a stupid one for doing that, but, like... I don't know. Like, come on. You at least gotta be a little more, like, l looking around. Because I think she was outside the classroom when this happened, so... It was just me, my brother, and those two kids, so... I don't know. It just seemed weird to me, so... um, Yeah. And then... I'm trying to think of other times... Um... I remember one time we were doing math word problems, and um, I guessed on one. I, I, I gave the answer, and she literally gave me that death stare again for 10 seconds. That that little scary death stare that, like, I don't know. She just has, like, the weirdest stares, and she literally looked at me. And, like, I wasn't even doing anything. She, uh, she looked at me for, like, 10 seconds, and then, like, she looked back at the problem, it was, it was reading the problem. I don't know why she did that, but it was weird. I wasn't even doing anything, and she literally uh, glared at me. It was, n n like, really scary. So, um, then I, I gave an answer, and she literally screamed at me for giving the wrong answer. Like, he would just say, no, that's incorrect. She was like, now, Mason, you should be paying attention to what we're doing. I'm like... I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I was just, like, so, I, again, I was speechless because, like, one, who says that? So, I don't know. I was just lost for words there. I was completely lost by that. And, yeah, and then, I, and then after that, I never raised my hand for a question again. So, and then one day, one week, it was Friday. And it was, like, woohoo, it's Friday. So, like, you literally, like, it's just, like, a week of, like, just like finishing up anything that happened during the week so i don't know and like she literally like said to me i i said i said woohoo it's friday to my friends and she heard me and she's like yeah just because it's friday mason doesn't mean we're doing work and like one i did not assume that so i don't even know why in her right mind she would say that and two like it was i i didn't even I meant by Friday, it was like, woohoo, it's Friday, and a little bit, we're getting out of school, and we're done for the weekend. I didn't mean, like, we're done with school, we're doing no more work. I, I don't know, she just took it that way. It was weird. So, um, in that week, I got out early, and I, I was actually really excited to get out early. So, as, as more times go by, the same stuff happens. Like, she calls me lazy and everything, and, like, says, like, I should be paying attention, and... You know, this eventually just, like, led to me that, like, I literally just start uh, breaking down crying in, um, in the class. So, like, I literally tell my mom, I literally say to my mom, like, after I just, like, lost it, that I don't even want to go to school anymore. Like, I don't even want to do school. And, like, I don't know, I guess, like, after that, I guess she, uh, said to the teacher that, like, I, I wasn't, um, a liking how she was like a, a treating me so that uh, let me be sad and like come crying and I guess she felt bad for me that the next day she pulled me out of the classroom she's like a mason come here I gotta talk to you out of the hallway so I'm like okay and I was so scared because like I don't know I guess because I did something else wrong so um I was literally like so scared and she literally came out to me and she and she's like mason your mom told me um um, on what you said about me that like I'm making you upset and everything and, sh and I'm like I was like thinking in my head like oh no is she gonna yell at me for talking about her uh, talking crap behind her back and she's like Mason I just want to let you know that like I'm not trying to make you upset here like I understand that I kind of uh, went a little too far and like me saying those like horrible things to you like I do not mean that and, like, I literally just stopped crying, and, like, she was, this is, like, the first time she was actually being nice to me, so, um, so, 
And then she, like, uh, comes and gives me a hug. I hug back because, obviously, like, that's, like, the first nice thing she said to me. And, um, yeah. And then, like, ever since that day, I don't even think she, like, uh, yelled at me again. Like, she just told me to, like, uh, pay attention once in a while just to, like, m make sure I'm okay. But that's not really yelling at someone, so I wasn't really that upset because she said that. But, like, still, it's just telling someone to pay attention. So, I don't even know why I'd be so upset about that. But, like, the way she was saying it kind of made me upset earlier. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess that was the case. But, like... Yeah, is that, so that's basically what happened. And, like, ending the school year, she gave me a hug. And she's like, Mason, you, you're honestly, like, one of my favorite students this year. And I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah, because, like, you literally been, like, the nicest to everyone. You never got into, like, any fights with any of the other students. So, like, you've been, like, a really good student this year. And, like, honestly feel like you're going to go places. And, and that's what she said to me on the last day. And, and then I walked out of the classroom. And, um, yeah, so now when I see her, like, I actually, like, I, honestly, I think she's, like, one of my favorite teachers now, but, like, back when I had her, I hated her, so, honestly, I like her, and, like, I see her, I, I say hi to her, and she weighs back, so, um, yeah, it's all, it's all good, so. I'm sorry this, um, I'm, I'm went a little longer, I just had a longer story to tell today because this is kind of like my, uh, experience in first grade, especially being that young in elementary school, it kind of, it, it just kind of makes this feel like it's kind of interesting because, like, it's, it's first grade and, like, everyone was friends with each other, so, yeah, so, um, I hope you guys did enjoy this, uh, video you did drop a like if you guys have any stories to tell me i will be glad i will definitely be able to read them like with teachers or anything or just anything in general i will be glad to read them if you have any suggestions on like what idea uh, what topic i should do on my commentary videos because my commentary videos are not just going to be on um like life stories or anything like i want to like talk about topics uh, topics with you guys that are like uh, going on in the world right now so i just won't do that I will also talk about, like, topics that are going on right now or, like, in the past. So, like, if you guys want me to talk about something, you can just let me know and I'll take into consideration I can possibly talk about it in my next video. So, um, yeah, well, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like. Um, I'm just going to uh, shout some of my stuff out. So, Twitter and Instagram, both at MacePures802, Snapchat, PenguinsFan802. And, um... Yeah, so that's all I'm going to be talking about today. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will guys see you in the next video. Bye.